Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Thanks for tuning in. And today I got something uh, pretty special for you folks. That is this UPEZ 1200 watt lithium iron phosphate battery station. UPEZ sent this to me um, to do a review on it and also to give away completely free one of you viewers one of these brand new power stations. I'm going to do a giveaway once my channel hits 20,000 subscribers. I can't believe I'm, I'm even saying that to be honest with you, but I'm almost there and I've never really been into the whole data analytics of YouTube, but I did look at at one metric and 95% of my views are from non-subscribers. So guys, all you gotta do, if you watch this video, all you have to do is subscribe, comment on this video, and Upes is gonna send this to you for absolutely free once I hit 20K. So if anybody wants one of these power stations, guys, just watch the video, subscribe and comment, and I will pick the winner via a random comment generator. I'll post that on, on YouTube and I will try to get your address and Upez will send this to you for free. So that's an awesome deal. These things are over a thousand dollars. So with that guys, let me show you what this power station is to give you an example of what you can win. So again, this is the Upez 1200 lithium iron phosphate battery station. And, and this thing is absolutely perfect for truck camping, tent camping, RV, and it's perfect for charging your phones, you're charging your iPads, your drone batteries, keeping LED lights running, running string lights around the tent, around the campsite, whatever you, whatever you can think of, this thing will be perfect. And at 992 watt hours, this thing's gonna last easily a day or two running just those appliances. 1200 watt inverter, 3600 watt surge inverter so you're you can get up to 3600 watts at a very short time interval but it will continuously run 1200 watts and this is 31 amp hours if you guys want to go do that math but let me take this thing out of the box and show you what it is and kind of give you a, a brief example of what you can run and i'm going to do a quick test on running this thing on one of my 12 volt coolers overnight just to, to show you guys how long it'll take to run that and how far down the battery goes overnight so in the box you're gonna get, these things are packaged very well. So that's gonna be all your charging stuff. Okay, so here's the power station. Completely brand new, unopened. LED light on the back. Fans, intake and outtake on the sides. In this little package, you're gonna get all of your charging supplies. So you've got your, you know, instructions. Charging brick, your AC charging brick. And we'll plug this in to see how many watts this thing puts into the battery. Your DC charging connection with an eight millimeter adapter. And this is just gonna go to your power brick. Okay, so that's everything in the box. Let's clear this out. So you're gonna have your three AC outlets here on its own dedicated circuit. So when you want to use your inverter, you're just gonna hit this button down here to turn the inverter on. You've got your power button, you've got your eight millimeter input. That's where you're gonna actually put in your charging. If solar, AC, or DC is where you're gonna plug it in here to charge the actual unit. You've got your 12 volt cigarette style input there. You've got two, I believe these are 5521 inputs, but I will verify. You've got a 60 watt power delivery output and a 18 watt power delivery output. Unfortunately, this doesn't have any input. You cannot charge it via power delivery, but this will run say a MacBook or any type of modern day laptop because this will output up to 60 watts. And these power delivery 18 watts are good for, for iPhones, for iPads, for smaller type appliances like that, charging drone batteries, perfect. And then you've got two quick charge 3.0 USB-A ports here. Let me plug in the AC charging brick and see what type of watts this charging brick offers. So per the manufacturer, you will you can charge this zero to 100% with the AC adapter in seven and a half hours. And this came shipped with 55% battery capacity. And we're going up, we're at 185, 186. So it looks like the AC charging brick is gonna provide about 100 and let's say 185 watts of, of juice into the battery to charge this thing. So that's where the seven and a half hours comes from. You can charge the solar at 200 watt max. So if you've got 400 watts worth of solar, it's only going to accept 200 watts. Okay gang, so while this charges up, I'm gonna let it get to 100%. And that should take, I'm guessing around three and a half hours because since it's already at 55%. Let me go over just a quick other few specs with you in case you're interested in this unit. So this does have a BMS inside it and that is going to have over voltage protection, over heat protection, over current protection. And it's going to adjust the charging voltage and speed 
to every single device that you plug into this to protect that device so that device doesn't get cooked. This does have a two year warranty from the date of purchase. So that's not bad having a two year warranty on this guy. And again, with it being LiPo 4 cells, you're gonna get 2,500 cycles out of this before it drops down to 80% capacity. So after 2,500 charges and recharges all the way down to zero, this battery will only be able to hold 80% of its initial capacity than when you first got it. And 2,500 cycles is a very long time. Um, standard lithiums are around 500, give or take, cycles. So this gets almost three times the amount of cycles as a regular lithium power station. This is certified by the UL and ETL, so it's, it's, a, it's a safe unit. 310,000 milliamp batteries inside this, which equates to 992 watt hours. So it's a big battery unit. So I'm gonna let this get charged to 100%. I'm gonna hook this up to one of my 12 volt coolers I have sitting in my garage and let this run overnight and see how far that battery goes down. Just a typical overnight camping trip with a 12 volt cooler. Now this cooler's hot and I'm not gonna help it along. I'm not gonna pre-chill it. I'm not gonna put cold drinks in it. I'm just gonna turn it on and set it to 32 degrees at room ambient temperature in my garage, which is 92 degrees right now. This is gonna have to work. And I think that'll be a good representation of how long you can get this thing to run because technically if you put cool things in the cooler, it's not going to run this battery unit as hard. So this is going to be a kind of worst case scenario test. So. All right, gang. So it is now 1240 PM and you probably can't see this. I get it, but it's 99% full now. So I'm going to consider that pretty much a full charge. And what I'm going to do now is I've got my big 45 quart 12 volt compressor cooler and I'm gonna see what this battery goes down to at 12 o'clock tomorrow. So I'll run this thing for 24 hours. So I'm gonna plug it in to the 12 volt, turn on that this portion of the battery station. I'm gonna make sure that my cooler is actually turned on and I'm gonna set it to 32 degrees. So I'm gonna make sure both sides are set for 32 degrees. And this guy is hot. This has been in my garage all day. It's 89 degrees. The inside of this cooler is 89 degrees. Okay, so I am now pulling 47 watts. I've got 19 hours of runtime remaining. Hey gang, well I'm kind of cheating, but uh, it's around 6 p.m. tonight. So this thing's been running for about six hours, I would say. I just wanted to show you folks real quick while we're stand. Uh, you can't see it yet, but this is at 77% battery. There you go. So we're at 77% here in the middle, middle screen. We're not pulling any watts because the compressor's not on right now, and this is showing 99 hours runtime remaining. The main point of the story is I've used 23% of my battery since lunchtime today cooling this thing down. Now, folks, keep in mind, this is at 77% because this cooler, I started it out at around 92 degrees inside. In a real world, I would have pre-chilled this cooler, let it get cold, and then connect the battery to it because that's going to make the compressor work less. So this battery station probably would have been around 85 to 90 percent capacity if I would have started out with a cold cooler but it had to go from 92 degrees to 32 degrees and it used quite a bit of juice to get there out of this battery unit so to have this thing at 77 percent is pretty good in around six and a half hours we will check back tomorrow to see where this battery station is after this is running now another caveat to this test is this cooler is empty i'm trying to make this test as hard as possible so in the real world it's not going to run as hard if there was anything in this cooler like cold beer frozen food cold drinks whatever it is that's going to actually help this cooler stay cold longer and not make the compressor run as often or as hard so with this being empty it's a lot harder test for this battery unit Keep that in mind. Well, hey folks, I hope you can see me, but it is the next day. It is 11 a.m. I don't have my watch on me. I, it's inside. You'll just have to trust me. But it's been going for 23 hours now. And the UPES is at, and I'll show this to you, it is at 20% battery remaining. So this thing has almost ran for 24 hours in a 92 degree garage. And this cooler started out hot to answer a lot of questions i get on how long will this run a cooler or, or this and that this thing ran this cooler for, for 24 hours and it's still got 20 percent remaining so a full day and that's without charging this so let me get this cooler out of the way because i want to show you folks a couple more things before i wrap up this video and i'll do my best to get you a temperature 32.5 if that shows up on screen 
Okay, so again, the back of this unit also does have an LED light, and I don't know if it's gonna show up here, but there's low, medium, SOS, and off. So it does have a little area LED light in the back should you need it, turn this around. And also a lot of folks wanna know about pass-through charging. So can you run an appliance while you're charging? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to plug up this, this little fan here and I'm gonna run it off of the inverter because it is an AC fan. So I'm gonna plug that in. I'm gonna turn on the inverter. The inverter is turned on. Let's kick the fan on. I am pulling nine watts off of this fan. So let's see what happens when I go to charge it. And it is now charging and running a piece of equipment at the same time. So pass through charging does work. So hopefully you can tell, fans running, chargers plugged in, this thing is, is spinning, meaning that it is charging. The fan is on, the indicator on the inside is on to keep the, the batteries cool. My output watts that this thing shows is outputting nine watts for the fan, and I am inputting 185 watts from the AC charging brick. Okay, folks, so this is the UPS 1200, just a perfect little battery station for something that's gonna last you at least a couple of days. If you don't run anything that has a compressor in it, like that cooler, it'll run for three or four days just charging phones, LED lights, Christmas lights around camp, running little uh, fans like that. It'll last for days without a recharge because this thing has 992 watt hours of juice inside it. And again, it's got a 1200 watt inverter with a 3600 watt surge capability. So you can start a lot of pieces of equipment off of AC power with this unit. Um, and But again, it's a 1200 watt continuous rating. So the inverter is very powerful in this unit and it's got a lot of input ports that you can use and again this thing can hold up to 10 devices at one time if you have 10 devices you want to plug up but it's just a you know it's it weighs about 20 25 pounds so it's not going to be something that you throw in your backpack really but it's perfect for truck camping rving you know if you get to your site throw it in your tent you're not going to be you know lugging this around through the woods but it's just a it's just a good little unit and again guys this is completely free i have to stress that completely free no shipping paid by you whatsoever. I think you guys are really gonna love this. And especially with this being lithium iron phosphate, you're gonna get a lifetime of use out of this. I don't think you're ever gonna get 2,500 charge recharge cycles. And if you do, this thing only goes down to 80% useful capacity. So you're still not left with a paperweight once you get to 2,500 cycles. Guys, that's it for the UPS 1200. I really do hope you go to the channel and subscribe all that it takes. Just subscribe and leave a comment and that's how I pick the winner. Simple as that. You do that, and I get to 20K subscribers. Lopez will ship this to you for 100% free. So guys, thanks for watching and hope to send this to you very, very soon. Take care.